all the dreams that I had when I first came into college and a lot of the experiences I felt that I need to have as a college student. I would say I have experienced a lot of them till now. I've done a lot of things that every student when they come into college would expect. What is the dual degree program? So dual degree program is one of the things that BITS offers. So there is a lot of misconception around dual degree that you know people do not get good placement if they opt for dual degree the placement is, is it going to be as equal as that of single degree what's your take on this my take uh, for this particular topic would be that now you are a msc economics student and you know people have a lot of misconception also about economics and that to msc degree so what's the scope of economics the knowledge that i've gained from economics would definitely not be wasted at any point in my life What are sports facilities available in Hyderabad campus? Hyderabad has almost all the sports facilities that you can imagine. Nani, which is one of the top actors in South, we were also involved in bringing him on campus for movie promotions. So how do your day look like Karthik from you know morning to night? And then I come back to my wing. I spend some time with them as well because right. the concept of wing mates is really intrigued me and when I first came to college and I've been experiencing it for the past semester and I really love it. The academic pressure is as I can answer it's challenging. Do you get chance to go outside and roam around in the city? Hi friends. We have Karthik with us today. He is a third year student at Hyderabad campus and he is pursuing dual degree MSc honors economics with ECE electronics and communication engineering. So we will be talk about the insight of Hyderabad campus the branch specific branch subject knowledge and of we will also learn about some good things which you know people want to know from the campus. So Karthik welcome to the session. Thank you, Aditya. So the first question is, how is your college life so far? So yeah, I'm in my third year now. So all the dreams that I had when I first came into college and a lot of the experiences I felt that I need to have as a college student, I would say I have experienced a lot of them till now. I have gone out with my friends. I have played on the campus football team. I have enjoyed in fests. I have danced. I've done a lot of things that every student when they come into college would expect. I have been able to successfully manage my academics and have a friends group that supports me all through. Good. So you are having a good time. Yeah, I'm having a good time on good. campus. Good. Now you are a dual degree student, MSc honors and B E C. So I just wish to know a bit about dual degree. What is this dual degree program? So dual degree program is one of the things that BITS offers. So uh, the dual degree program works in a way that normal students they usually pursue one degree for four years, and as a dualite you would have to stay in college and study for five years. But in the end you would be graduating with two degrees, a master's in uh, a particular subject like economics, mathematics, or uh, chemistry, or the tools that they have to offer, and a B Tech in whatever is allotted to you after your first year. So that is the dual degree concept. I see. So there is a there is a lot of misconception around dual degree that you know people do not get good placement. They they if they opt for dual degree, the placement is is it going to be as equal as that of single degree? What's your take on this? My take uh, for this particular topic would be that uh, dualites in general, compared to single degree students with the same degree, do have a competitive edge because in the end on paper they have an additional degree with them, and uh, for sub for uh, dual degrees like economics. which actually teach you a lot of real life skills and do help you in other sectors as well it does help in placements and in the end for us dualites the placements is actually less of a concern because we tend to go for dual ps uh, ps2 happens at the end of uh, your fourth year for single degree students and for uh, dualites it happens in our fifth year So we have two PS twos because we're pursuing two degrees, one for each of the degrees that is MSc Economics and for my ECE that is my Technical degree. So we have two PSs for with the same company, which tends to happen with the same company, which usually leads to a PPO. So placements is less of a concern for us. Could you please elaborate on what is this uh, PS? 
So PS is a concept that Bits has. It's called practice school. So it happens that based on your CGPA at the end of your third year and first semester for single degree students, there's a list of companies that you can apply for. And based on the CGPA, you're allotted those companies. These companies are really good. Like you have Apple, you have uh, Mercedes, you have Newtonix and all these top companies that come for placements in PS2. And it is basically an internship that you do with the company for which you get a stipend. The stipend varies from which company you're allotted to. And uh, this PS, depending on the performance, may or may not lead to a PPO. So this is the concept of practice school and it's unique to BITS. Well, what is this PPO? PPO is a pre-placement offer. So the thing with PPO is that if the com- that you've been working with the company for a certain amount of time and if they're happy with your performance, they give you a placement offer before you actually sit for placements through your college. So you already have an offer in your hand before actually sitting for placements through your college. So you are more secure. I see. Now you are a MSc economics student and you know, people have a lot of misconception also about economics and that to MSc degree. So what's the scope of economics? Economics is a very interesting and thought provoking subject. It helps broaden your horizons of thinking and helps view the things about let's say in finance in general in more detail so it's really helpful and it's a really practical course that would definitely help you wherever you go the knowledge that i've gained from economics would definitely not be wasted at any point in my life is it going to be related to some financial sector of course because finance teaches you it's basically economics gives you a peek behind the curtains on actually how the finance industry works finance industry basically works on how banks function and how things work and how you can make money. But the fact on how money actually works on how uh, the back ends of the banks work or how the RBI works, that's what economics gives you an idea of. So you have a deeper understanding of what things might be or might lead to, which may help you in your job in the financial sector as well. So are you enjoying doing economics courses? Yeah, I'm enjoying. Uh, Next semester, which will be my third year, second semester will be my last semester studying economics. I've been studying economic subjects for four semesters now. So can you please tell a few subjects of economics now? Um, Some of the subjects in economics are uh, macroeconomics, which tells you on how the policies in the country are made and how the RBI works. Then um, I had principles of management, which was a part of my economics degree. That was one of the very interesting courses. It tells you about the different kinds of managing uh, ideologies on how they work, how people, how different types of leaders are, how they motivate people. Um, And, you know, while studying these courses, you might be able to relate to some of them, which makes it more interesting. Then uh, you have economics of growth and development, which basically tells you on how different countries progressed over time, what kind of theories might be able to explain their growth, This semester, I had uh, courses like MBFM, which is uh, money banking and financial markets. So that entire course was dedicated to explaining the banking system on how money works, on how money is circulated, on how the change in uh, the amount of currency that is circulating or anything in general might affect our daily lives. So this kind of extrapolates into the financial sector as well. The courses that I'll be learning next semester would definitely have an integration on a larger scale with these courses that I've studied till now. Good. So we have talked a lot about academic side. Now, from your perspective, since you are specifically from Hyderabad campus, what are sports facilities available in Hyderabad campus? Hyderabad has almost all the sports facilities that you can imagine. We have one of the best football grounds. It's been newly constructed. Uh, we have the swimming pool, which, op- which is operational. Mm-hmm. We have uh, two badminton courts. We have the SAC Student Activity Center, where you have almost all indoor sports, squash, uh, pool, chess. And all of them are in really good condition that you would actually enjoy playing with, playing like over there. We have uh, two basketball courts, two tennis courts. And in general, the sports teams on campus are top-notch. They practice every day. Having been in one of them, it's really, it's like a family. Oh, so you are part of sports. I was on the football team for a while, yes. Oh, oh, very good, very good, good. So, 
apart from sports uh, there are some clubs and departments which are you know quite famous in bits so are there some in hyderabad campus also yes clubs and departments are there it's a thing that is common across all bits campuses the the culture of clubs and departments so right now i am in one some of the clubs that i am in i would say are embryo and uh, block sock so embryo is the club that is related to calling speakers on campus during the fest so uh, nani which is one of the top actors in south we were also involved in bringing him on campus for movie promotions then um, block sock is a newly formed society it is related to blockchain and it were like its main goal is to help increase knowledge and dive deeper into the concepts of blockchain and how to implement it as students and obviously on a bigger scale on how to understand this concept in general and as in departments i am in the department of uh, arts and decoration which is arts and deco and uh, our job mainly is during the fests we are responsible for decorating the campus for making the big logo which everyone sees when they enter the campus for making all the artworks and decoration that everyone sees around campus so all the vibrance that you see is our doing that's great that's great so you are doing so many things apart from academics yes good 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 so how do your day look like karthik from you know morning to night so uh, my overall schedule as a duelite is pretty packed because uh, as everyone knows the third year is really stressful because we have to sub uh, study our economic subjects as well and our uh, core subjects that is our btech subjects as well so i start my day somewhere around 8 o'clock i get up i freshen up and then uh, i have breakfast i go for classes my first class starts around 9 o'clock i do my classes till around 12 and then i have a one hour break for lunch after my lunch break i again have classes which includes either labs or uh, theory classes that might happen depending on the day and mostly my classes are done by around 5 o'clock i personally tend to focus on academics more so i t- stay in the library till around 7 7:30 8 after that i go to my i go to the mess i have dinner or i have outside depending on what the mood is for that day <laughs> and uh, then i go to my room i keep my stuff and i move out i hang out with my friends i spend some time with them and then i come back to my wing i spend some time with them as well because yeah. the concept of wing mates is really something that really intrigued me and when i first came to college and i've been experiencing it for the past semester and i really love it so uh my day so this continues till around 11 11:30 after that obviously i have to study a little bit more before i go to sleep so i study till around 1 and then i sleep off that's quite packed sh- schedule you have yeah because uh, the subjects do demand a lot of effort uh in my third year so i need to take out the time to ensure that my academics don't suffer i see i see so how's the academic pressure at uh, hyderabad campus the academic pressure is as i can answer with respect from the perspective of a dualite it is it's challenging i would say it's it's challenging that in a way that helps you grow that after going through all of this you would know what it means to go like sit at one place put effort into something and then come out with more knowledge than what you went in with before mm-hmm. so like i said uh, the economic subjects are still a bit easier to understand because i have been studying them for the past 3 semester two semesters now but the core subjects uh, which are related to ece branch i was introduced to them this semester only so it took some time for me to understand on how to study these subjects because they're fairly technical and they do dive into the depths of what actually that course is meant to be for example my course on electrical machines did go into the exact details on how electrical machines like transformers and generators work and the teachers do teach everything in proper detail so in order to perform well you need to understand the concepts properly i see i see so karthik apart from all these do you get chance to go outside and roam around in the city 
yeah of course we do get chances to go outside and roam around in the city our campus is a little bit far is on the like is a little bit far from the city so we have to travel around 45 minutes to get to a proper place oh, okay uh 45 minutes to get to the city there is an area that is close to our campus where everyone usually goes there are a lot of cafes and a lot of restaurants where everyone enjoys so that's around a half a half an hour drive So yeah we do go to the city in the beginning of the semester or whenever we get time it's usually the weekends because the weekdays are packed for almost everyone so during the weekends we do venture out we go to the city we enjoy there's a lot of stuff to do in hyderabad it's a beautiful city and as a person who's been living in delhi i would also say that i have enjoyed hyderabad and its culture as well it's awesome good good so you are having great time yeah hyderabad my experience with hyderabad and the people there and overall it's been really good okay so thank you so much for your time kartik thank you thank you so much Adil. so dear having. friends you have seen kartik has given lot of insight about hyderabad campus and hopefully uh, you have got much idea about the dion degree program many misconceptions kartik has broken if you have further question you can drop in the comments below we will be able to answer them thank you so much for your time thank you